thousands of Argentines go out in the streets to protest their new president. When Javier Millet became the first self-described libertarian head of state in history, he explained that to avert economic disaster in a country facing huge deficits and 160% inflation rate, things would likely get worse before it could get better. Así como la caída del muro de Berlín marcó el final de una época trágica para el mundo, estas elecciones han marcado el punto de quiebre de nuestra historia. Ningún gobierno ha recibido una herencia peor que la que estamos recibiendo nosotros. No buscamos ni deseamos las duras decisiones que habrá que tomar en las próximas semanas, pero lamentablemente no nos han dejado opción. Ten days into his term, Millet issued a mega decree of more than 300 executive measures. He abolished national rent control, which had caused a 75% drop in available apartments in Buenos Aires between 2022 and 2023. He repealed price controls, slashed subsidies, and fired more than 5,000 government employees. He allowed direct competition with Argentina's government-owned airline, which he plans to privatize. And he defied the country's powerful labor unions. Milei is quasi a dictator, este, que impone su ley como él quiere. Y... Milei debería estar haciendo lo que no está haciendo. En cada trabajador un enemigo y se olvida que la clase trabajadora es la que justamente lo votó en, en, en pos de una esperanza. The strike was organized by the General Confederation of Labor, Argentina's largest labor union, which represents one out of every five Argentine workers. Millet issued an order ending the automatic withholding of union dues, leaving workers free to opt out, and he banned government workers in sectors like health and education from striking. A court ruling temporarily suspended these measures, but in the meantime, Unions are making a show of force so that Millet's agenda doesn't make it through Congress. No le tiembla el pulso a la hora de tener que ajustarle a los jubilados, a la hora de tener que ajustar en la salud, a la hora de tener que ajustar en la educación. La verdad que me parece que es otro gobierno más liberal que tuvo la Argentina y que bueno, que estamos acá para derrotarlo, obviamente. Javier Millet has a seemingly impossible job but he also has a clear vision for a freer, less regulated, and less debt-ridden Argentina. And he's exceptionally skilled at communicating that vision. Capitalismo de libre empresa no solo es un sistema posible para terminar con la pobreza del mundo, sino que es el único sistema moralmente deseable para lograrlo. Si se adoptan medidas que entorpecen el libre funcionamiento de los mercados, el único destino posible es la pobreza. But there are powerful political interests determined to stop him. Millet's main political adversaries aren't Argentina's workers. In fact, the self-described anarcho-capitalist is actually pushing to increase welfare in the short term to ease the pain for the working class during this transition to a new economic model. As Argentine political economist Marcos Falcone told Reason, his adversaries are actually wealthy Argentines who've benefited from government largesse. Millet is going against current capitalism because he is basically trying to tell the businessmen that have lived off of government support, you are done, this is over. We need to move forward and the people need to be able to profit, not just companies because of regulations and privileges. Quiero darles un mensaje a todos los empresarios aquí presentes y a los que no están, pero nos están siguiendo desde todas partes del planeta. No se dejen amedrentar ni por la casta política ni por los parásitos que viven del Estado. No se entreguen a una clase política que lo único que quiere es perpetuarse en el poder y mantener sus privilegios. Ustedes son benefactores sociales, ustedes son héroes, ustedes son los creadores del periodo de prosperidad más extraordinario que jamás hayamos vivido. Que nadie les diga que su ambición es inmoral, Si ustedes ganan dinero, es porque ofrecen un mejor producto a un mejor precio, contribuyendo de esa manera al bienestar general. No cedan al avance del Estado. El Estado no es la solución. El Estado es el problema mismo.
Millet faces a thicket of regulations and political resistance. It will not be easy. We'll have to wait and see if he picked the right chainsaw for the job. <laughs>